The recipe I'm doing today is one of my favourite pasta recipes. It includes some slow-cooked zucchini, which sort of really brings out the sweetness of the vegetable, into which I'm going to add some chopped prawns, a little bit of tomato, and some chilli and some savoury elements. And I'll show you how we achieve perfection with this dish. So I've got some pasta water on. Over here I've got a nice little fry pan, into which I'm going to put some olive oil couple of tablespoons, don't get it too hot. And then I'm gonna cut my zucchinis. I've got some cut already, but really, you can slice these zucchinis uh, or you can cut them into sort of chunks. But the idea is we're gonna cook it down, sort of sauteing it, adding some water and make it all like it's sweet and mushy. Okay, so just slice through your zucchinis. And you're gonna want some different textures in there. You don't want them to break down completely into a, into a mash. We want a little bit of texture in there but predominantly we want the, the real the sweetness and the rich flavour of the zucchini to come out. We're going to get rid of all the excess water in it. So some zucchini, then some garlic. So I've got a couple of cloves of garlic. I'm just going to halve the garlic and then I'm not going to try and slice it as thin as I possibly can. And there we have it, a lovely finely sliced garlic. Now we go to our pan and we're going to get our garlic now and we're going to add it to our pan. And we've got, we're going to use that method that I spoke about before, where we're going to just slowly fry the garlic until it becomes lovely and sticky, but not too coloured, just golden. So we're developing the, the natural sugars, maximising the flavour. And when it's ready, it'll start clumping together, sticking to our spoon, at which point we add our zucchini. We're just going to coat those. And at this point, I'm going to add some salt and a little bit of cracked black pepper. And now, what we do is we gently fry it. We're going to add a tiny little bit of colour to the zucchini, maybe a little bit of goldenness. And once that's achieved, we're going to hit it with some water and we're going to steam it and reduce the water down until it starts frying again. And we're going to sort of just poke it with our spatula. And then when that's fried a little bit more, we're going to add a little bit more water, steam it, and then reduce it down and continue that process until we've got a lovely, unctuous, slightly smashed zucchini mix. So I can really start to see a little bit of colour coming through now. Just a slight goldenness, but also what's happening is I can see that the zucchini is sucking up the oil, they're starting to soften. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of water and I just add it. And you hear that sizzle? That's the water reacting with the oil, simmering, steaming, okay? And that's going to help break down those zucchinis. And now we just start pushing them around the pan with our spoon and sort of mashing them at the same time. And we'll repeat this process. It might take four or five goes, or it might be, it depends on how watery the uh, zucchinis are and how quickly they break down. And what's also happening is you're creating an emulsion almost of the, uh, the water and the, uh, the oil and the zucchini pulp as it breaks down. So you'll notice that, that it'll stop sizzling as hard it means that the water's sort of evaporated out of the oil in the zucchinis. This is, I, I think, even by itself as a vegetable dish, as a side dish, smashed zucchini like this is so delicious. I put it on toast as well with feta cheese. So you can see that the zucchini started to break down. There's still some texture there, but we've got a lovely, nice kind of rich sauce starting to happen. Now I'm going to add some dried chilli, a little bit of rosemary chopped, and we'll just fry that into the zucchinis. Rosemary is a great savoury herb, and I think it goes really well with seafood, particularly prawns, which are rich. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more water to this one. Oh, wow. As soon as I did that, the steam, vapour, I could smell the rosemary. That was amazing. Now, we're going to add our chopped up prawns. So what we need to do now is let these flavours kind of blend together, meld. I'm actually going to cook the prawns quite well because I want all that richness and flavour to come out 
into the zucchini and create this unctuous sauce. A lot of people just cook prawns a little bit. Here, they really benefit from being cooked a long time. Okay, so you can see that. I'm just gonna have a little taste. See where we are at with our seasoning. Mmm, mmm. So the, the zucchinis are lovely and sweet. A little, bit of, a little bit of heat there from the chili, a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper. I'm now going to add a touch more olive oil just for it to braise in and it'll help all the flavour from the prawns come out into the pasta. Now I'm just going to turn the heat down, let it simmer away in the oil and the zucchini juice. Finally, just to help it out, we're going to add a little bit of our crushed tomato. Not a lot because we don't want it to be a full tomato flavoured pasta. We want the prawns and the zucchinis to really be the hero. And the sauce, the tomato sauce, is just gonna fill out the texture and the body of the pasta. Yeah, um, look at that. So you got the red, the green, the orange from the prawns. We're just gonna let that sort of tick away ever so gently. We'll have a little taste. Mm. Because I've added the tomato, it needs a little bit more salt, just to balance out that sort of sharpness of the tomato. Bit of salt in the water. And in we go with our pasta. And we go back to my sauce. What I've noticed is as the prawns are cooking, they're letting out their moisture. So it's actually got a little bit watery. And what we need to do is just reduce that down so we get that right balance of uh, juice and oil again. Mm -mm. So as our pasta cooks, we just need to use our tongs to separate it. Now it's just a waiting game. So my pasta's almost ready. I actually want to undercook it slightly for this um, pasta. Because our sauce is so soft and unctuous, I want that textural difference with the pasta. Just taste it. Mm. Not bad, a little bit more salt. And then what I'll do is I'll just swap these over, turn that down, and I'm quite literally going to take my pasta with some water into my sauce. Okay, then we're just going to mix that together, make sure it's really well combined. So we just grab it and we're just going to roll it tight into a big ball like so in there and then our sauce all over the top. We've got this beautiful soft cooked zucchini with a rich tomato prawn flavour through it, a little bit of olive oil over the top and there we have it, my prawn and zucchini pasta, linguine pasta. Okay, this is how you eat pasta. So we get a little bit. And look at the way the sauce just clings to the pasta, partially because we've undercooked it and it's all that nice and rough, but the sauce is so unctuous. It's the rosemary that comes through that makes it. Oh, so sweet. The sweetness of the um, prawns in the smashed zucchini and a little bit of tomato. <clears throat> that is a knockout.